welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in my newer series, my WW Vegetarian Series. Tonight's recipe is so good. My husband, don't tell him, didn't even know that it was vegetarian. He thought it was legit meatballs. So if you're looking for a fantastic vegetarian meal that your husband, kids, they'll never know that it's vegetarian. It is extremely point friendly. It's absolutely delicious. Then all you have to do is keep watching. For tonight's vegetarian meal, I am making mushroom meatballs and we're gonna pair that with some pasta and some marinara and we're essentially going to be making spaghetti and meatballs. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first I'm gonna be using the Fiber Gourmet Light Penne Pasta. This is my favorite pasta. It is so good. The texture is fantastic. The flavor, it holds its shape really well, doesn't get mushy and soggy. And the best part, it is only three smart points for two ounces of pasta. You do go ahead and measure that dry. So this bag here is a total of four servings. So you can't beat it. It's half the points of regular pasta. And in my opinion, it's a lot better than regular pasta. I do purchase mine off of the Net Trition website. Down in the description box, there is a link. If you click it, it takes you right to Net Trition. You can search around. There's tons of WW friendly things on there. Hands down, my favorite thing is the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. They have all the shapes, elbows, penne, rotini, and spaghetti. So tonight we are gonna be using the penne pasta. In this jar here is some of the skinniest dish crockpot marinara. I will link this recipe also down in the description box. It is zero smart points, no matter how much you have. So we're gonna be using that. You'll need some quick cook oats, breadcrumbs. I'm gonna be using these roasted garlic, minced garlic, Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, thyme, oregano, and onions. I'm gonna be using minced onion versus fresh. I like the really small onion bits in my meatballs a lot better. And then you'll need some fresh parsley, lots of mushrooms. It calls for 20 ounces. So I'm gonna be using these two full packages of mushrooms. And lastly, you'll need an egg. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. The first thing we need to do to get started is chop up our mushrooms just into smaller pieces. We are gonna actually pan fry these down and then chop up some fresh parsley as well. So let's get chopping and then we'll be ready to assemble the meatballs. need to do to get started is cook down our mushrooms. So I have some cooking spray here. I'm just going to add this to my mushrooms since I didn't add any to the pan before I put the mushrooms in. I'm going to go ahead and add it directly to them. And then we're also going to be adding in some minced onion as well. So this is in lieu of chopping up a fresh onion. And we're going to let this cook down until our mushrooms have cooked all the way through, are softened, and are brown. As your mushrooms start to cook down, or most of the way cook down, we're gonna add in a big scoop of garlic. Sorry, you can hear my fan. These are smoky little guys, so I turned my fan on. But we're gonna go ahead and add a scoop of garlic to our mushrooms, and we're just gonna let these continue to cook down. I have been stirring the entire time just so they don't burn or stick to the bottom. You do want it on a medium-high heat. So I'm just gonna let these cook down. We want all the moisture out until they are nice and brown. Once you get your mushrooms all nice and cooked down, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients minus our marinara directly to the mushrooms. So I have two cracked eggs. We're going to add one third cup Parmesan cheese. You can use the shaky cheese or grated cheese if you don't wanna use the fresh. I just like the fresh better. So we're gonna add that. We're gonna do one cup of breadcrumbs and one cup of quick cook oats. And I'm just gonna kind of stir as I go. I just wanna make sure everything gets really nice and incorporated in with our mushrooms. And then we're gonna do one half of a cup of fresh chopped parsley and some thyme. And I don't measure my spices as you know, so we're gonna add a little bit of thyme. We're also gonna add a little bit of oregano and then lastly is just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're gonna give this a stir, cover it with some saran wrap, 
And this does need to go into the fridge for about two hours, preferably overnight, if you can make that happen. It just helps with the texture and also the binding of the mushrooms and all of the ingredients that you added. So I'm gonna put some saran wrap on this and get this into the refrigerator. And I'll be right back for you to assemble and cook down our meatballs. So I just pulled the meatball mixture out of the fridge and I'm going to roll this into balls. This basically makes four servings. So you can make small meatballs, big meatballs, just try to get an account that will be good for four servings. So I'm gonna make mine about this size and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to add it to a pan here that I've sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. So I'm gonna roll out all of my meatballs and then we're going to put this on the stove, get these kind of cooked down, and we will also cook our pasta at the same time and warm up our marinara. So the longest part is waiting for the meatball mixture to get the right texture and be ready to roll into the balls. our meatballs on the stove they look really really good and I also have my water coming to a boil here for my pasta so I will be back once we add in our pasta and give you a quick update on our meatballs it should take 10 to 15 minutes for these to fry up our meatballs are just about done they look really really good and then our pasta is done as well I'm about to drain and rinse it and I just tossed my marinara in the microwave here's our finished meatballs they look super good it is four servings total, so it's four meatballs per serving. And then I went ahead and added my marinara sauce directly to my pasta. So I'm going to plate up my one fourth and I'll be back to show you my plate and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. This looks so good. So I have five meatballs. I actually made five per serving. I miscounted in the pan. And that is a total of four smart points for five meatballs. I have one fourth of the pasta, which is three points, zero for the marinara, zero for the little bit of cheese on top. So this is a seven smart point dinner, pasta and meatballs, entirely vegetarian. Thank you for joining me in another episode of my WW Vegetarian series. I hope you enjoyed seeing these mushroom meatballs that literally taste like meatballs. I could not even believe it. It was so absolutely delicious so good so if you enjoyed this recipe and you want to recreate it you can order the fiber gourmet pasta off of the netrition website like i mentioned in the video if you click the link right down in the description box it'll take you directly to netrition's website and you can select whatever pasta or pastas that you can't live without best pasta there is you guys guaranteed the recipe also for the meatballs is listed in the description box as well so if you're new to my channel i'd like to extend a huge warm welcome make sure you hit that little subscribe button and that bell that way you're notified every time i upload you don't want to miss a single video thumbs up this one and comment down below let me know are you going to try this recipe and i also want to know if you're loving this series because if you are We'll continue putting out some more recipes. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.